as the Escape 604, 5.97, but it goes up to three and a half tons rather than 3.3. Got a tiny window on the back as opposed to the big window. So let's have a look. Uh, it's got an end bathroom. Okay, so that's your seating area. It has got, shall I like this, it's lovely. Oh, I've just seen something. Um, so it's got four seat belts. So we've got this obviously makes up into a bed. It's got a drop down table. That's the same, I really like this upholstery, it's lovely. But, what I like, we'll get to the back in a minute. But look, it's got a drop down bed. And it's a push one, it's not an electric one. Amazing. Oh, that's really smart. What's in here? Table storage. Nice, although, is it? Yeah, because that is on a, you can't move that table. Then you've got, what have you got up here? Big locker, good for shoes. Love this fridge now. Which side do you open that side? Nice. That is nice, actually. And then down here. Awesome for muddy shoes. Nice size wardrobe with really useful shelves on it. I'd like to do something like that for ours actually. That's really neat. So then you've got lovely big sink. Same oven that they've got in all of them. Drawers at the bottom like they've got in all of them. And under here is really, really useful storage. This is really nicely laid out. Got microwave. And a nice cupboard for play. And then a really nice, oh my goodness, a really nice bathroom. Oh my god, for the size of that. I don't know if you can see it on perspective, but that's huge. My goodness, the storage in this. I've got a decent wardrobe. So they've got two wardrobes. Oh, this is magic. All right, we're funky chickying. Are you ready? I've missed this. Nobody else missed the funky chicken. Um, I'm not sure I can. What's the shower head? Can I turn that? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess if I went the right, if I go the right way, it works. I can kind of funky chicken, there we go, with me washing my hair. It's not bad, and the door folds across. A little snug, but then you've got a really nice area to get clean. So this is what the van looks like outside. I really like it. Ooh. That's lovely. And it's less than six metres. We're not going to change our van, although I did say this last year. But if you're sitting at the front, that's a really smart, well-designed van. I love the fact it's got a drop-down bed. Um, and I guess if there's four, you've got two kids down here and then two up there. Lovely. If you want to see the front, it's the same as pretty much every Swift motorhome that we've looked at. That's very smart. I'm a fan of I like the Escape Range. I think the Escape Range is lovely, but I love the storage you've got. I am very impressed. That's the 604. That's really nice. I like that one a lot. Oh, you see, I just love these camper vans. This isn't really a camper van episode, but I just love the idea of that's your bed, then you can open the back door. We'll go do camper vans later. That is huge. I do miss having a garage. So he missed me, he would be happy with that because he likes swivel seats. Really nice big bed. But this is lovely. We've got a decent sized fridge. And they've put the drawers in, those little silly cupboards. Got a wardrobe. Nice. I like all the cupboards at the back. Got some decent storage actually. And so it's a wet room. 
the shower goes on there, obviously. Okay, so should we do the funky chicken? Uh, it's not bad. It's a bit, bit tight on that side. I, I can move. Go that way. Hang on. Hi. I can funky chicken, just about. A little tight. Come out this way. That's really nice. How much does it weigh? Uh, it's only plated to 3.3. Three. So this is the C205 here. They're all only plated to 3.3. Three. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Mm. So by comparison, this is the 402. So again, it's under six metres, which pretty much is six metres. Uh, it's 3.3 .3 again, and you've only got two seat belts. I think, oh no, you've got four. Oh yeah, okay, I can't read. Two berths, four seat belts. So this is the same as the other one. Got decent lockers above there. But this, has got a lovely U lounge, which is where the bed is. That's really smart. What's in this drawer? I like drawers. Okay. Oh, that's clever. It's got a little colour thing. That's really neat. I'm guessing the bathroom, yeah, we've got the same wardrobe. So the only thing that seems to be different so far is the fact that, yeah, it's exactly the same bathroom. That is really neat. I'm quite impressed. So from here, if I sit and all the bag I've dumped down. Smart. I like it. Do you like it? It's got a microwave. Got a huge locker above there. Same as we've got in ours. Hmm. Really nice. So this is one of Swift's brand new range. It's called the Swift Edge 412. We're still sticking with vans under six meters. This is 5.89, 3.3, two berths, two seat belts. It doesn't, again, I wish it told me the payload, but it really doesn't. Anyway, let me come around to the back. Little window at the back, because it's got an end kitchen. But this is one of their new models. I've not looked inside one of these yet. So, what have we got? We've got end kitchen, which is nice, to be fair. Two lockers. Show's about to start. I'm going to hear lots of announcements. Nice big space in there. And then a slightly smaller one there. And then you've got around here. This is identical in layout to the Bailey that we hired a while ago. I'm not sure I like the upholstery, but that's a personal preference. The front, yeah, the dashboard's exactly the same as all Swift's which is nice. So this is what makes up into your bed. We've got storage all the way around the top. This model has no additional show lighting fitted. Okay. Ah. Nice size fridge with a little freezer compartment. That's all right. And then you've got a decent cupboard in there. Now this, that's huge. The size of that wardrobe. That's enormous. Sorry, my phone's going. Ooh, there's a little secret compartment under there. See, I shouldn't be allowed to rummage around in things. I, I tend to find things I shouldn't. And this is nice, so it's another wet room. So what you do is you can pull, let me try and get in. The shower hook's in here. And then you've got the curtain around you, so the toilet area should stay pretty dry, which is really important. One thing I hate about wet rooms, I can turn around while I funky chicken point. Um, one thing I hate about wet rooms, where the whole thing gets wet, is where you put your towel and like your clothes. So you need a separation point, so that's quite good. Right, I can definitely funky chicken. I'm trying to do that without jerking you guys too much. But yeah, it's nice. I prefer the other one if I was going for what, an under six meter van in the Swift range. But again, that's my opinion. And this is why they have so many of it. it appeals to everybody. Yeah, I think it's the upholstery. I don't like the upholstery as much as the other one. Got a microwave. Got some massive lockers. Yeah, they're, they're good and really good at storage. They are getting really good at storage. So, that's their brand new edge range. 
Let's see what a Fiat Ducati van looks like without the van on. There you go, that's the chassis. 